Um, thanks, Andrew. Yeah, I'm Alice. Um, I work at Sheffield College, um, and I teach the business um, foundation degree and PGC there. Um, I've been playing about with Padlet recently, and I know some of you um, probably have come across it. And again, it probably be sort of old news to some people, but other people maybe haven't come across it. And I just wanted to share with you kind of what I found out about it and how I've been using it. Um, as um, Mark did earlier, I think I'm just going to have a little bit of a cop out and show you a video first. Um, because, does the sound work? Did you turn this, the, did you uh, I've just muted it, so on the top right corner, of oh, what? Thing. Oh, I can see it, yeah. Ready to go. You have a, a unique okay, it's got that address for you. But, Padlet, an online tool that lets all of your students participate in discussions. I'm going to start by building a wall, and this is already ready to go. You have a, a unique URL address up here, but I kind of want to change it, so I'm going to click over and modify this wall, and those little gears, and everything you need is over here. So I'm going to start by giving it a title, so I can find it later, and I'm going to click on wallpaper. You can add your own background or one of the options they give you. As far as layout, it's pretty much as you see here, freeform, they can put them, their posts anywhere and you can rearrange them um, or stream a little bit more linear and organized. Privacy by default gives you a hidden link, but I'm also going to add moderate posts because I have a few silly kids in my class that I want to see what they write before it gets posted to everyone so they can all see it. So I'm going to submit. Um, one more thing I want to do here, I'm going to click back on Modify Well. I'm going to click on this address part. Um, this is nice if uh, students need to type into the browser, finding an easy URL. So I'm going to come up with, let's see, MC Usher and see if it's available. Yep. So I'm going to change my URL. So now all they have to do is write that URL in, and it's pretty simple. Uh, you could also copy this URL or the one you had before and make a QR code if students have access to mobile devices. It just changed right over there, so I can just project that on the screen. Now I'm going to come back over to my wall. I'm going to give this a little bit more information. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to put in my name and I'm going to ask a question. What do you think about MC Shows work? And then I'm going to add something to this. I'm going to add um, a video. So I'm going to grab this video. This is a YouTube video. I'm going to copy it, come back over. There's my link and paste it in. Just like that, I have a wall ready for kids to access and watch the video. And all they do is just double click and they type in their name and write something for it. That's it. So it gives you a little bit of um, sort of information about how you actually go about um, creating a Padlet. What's happened here? Refresh. Refresh. That's my okay. um, so as you can see on here, I sort of put a couple of things that you of things that you could use Padlet for because I um, sort of came across this and thought, well, that's not very well good, but what am I going to use it for? Um, one of the things that I used it for in a class just yesterday with my PGC students was brainstorming. So I gave, um, split, split, split them into two groups and I gave each of them um, a Padlet. This is one of them, um, where I had a series of questions. As you can tell, I didn't make loads of progress. Um, but that's because they were talking a lot about them and they, didn't, they forgot to actually type anything. Um, but so these were some questions that they'd asked in a previous session on post-its. And all I did was type them up onto the, onto the Padlet for them to, to give answers to. But what happened was um, they then talked through their answers and they could actually watch them go up onto the wall live. So you can type in, if anyone wants to now, you could go to this Padlet address on your iPad or on your iPhone and you can watch your answers come up on the screen. Um, so for, for all of the debates that are going on around lectures and interactive um, learning, that can actually be really, really helpful. It's, I guess it's a bit like using Twitter, um, except that it's all in, in one sort of confined space. Um, students can present their walls, so they, they might create a wall in a group, and then they can, all you have to do is, is click on 
what you've what you've written, and you can see that there's um, a scroll through, so it acts a bit like um, sort of a PowerPoint presentation, but it's in a different format. Um, one thing that I found really interesting about the inductions and the introductions was you can actually get them to introduce themselves by sending a selfie in. So they can make, take a selfie, introduce themselves, maybe it's a, a fact about the, themselves, maybe it's something that they've understood or not understood about the class, and that helps you put a name to a face quite literally. Um, reference pages I think can be really useful, especially um, when students are going off and working in groups and maybe they want to share something that they've been working on, they can pop it on, um, on Padlet, all their peers can see it um, and they can follow the links through. Um, you could use it for peer assessments, you could put some student work on there and they can provide feedback to it. Um, flip learning is a big thing, um, obviously, at the moment. Um, you can, what, one thing I've done with a behaviour forum that I've been using with my PGC students is asking them to put on issues that they're having with behaviour. So maybe they've got students that won't, won't be quiet or won't um, get off their mobile phones. Um, and you know, they're, they're putting their, those concerns up on Padlet and their, their peers are answering those concerns um, sort of in real time, if you like. Um, that's it. I hope you find it useful.